Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. I'm so excited to have you here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to put together a rounded banner in Illustrator um, so that you could cut out yourself or you could set up on a machine if you wanted to. Um, but the main thing is that it's a really fun, easy way to get to know Illustrator. And by the way, if you're trying to learn Illustrator, make sure and join my Courses VIP group. It is an easy, free way to get lots of resources. You can go um, download it or get on the group at uh, karinagardner.com and click on exclusive VIP and join there. The other thing is I have a free intro to Illustrator course on that site and I would love for you to take it and learn how to use Illustrator. I am always in love with teaching new designers how to really get started and um, learn how to use this powerful software. Okay, so let's get to it. I've opened a new Illustrator document. Um, all you have to do is come over to your rectangle tool, click down, and you can see that we have a menu open up for us. So in this menu, there is your ellipse tool right there. And I am not gonna hold down my shift key. When I hold down my shift key, it gives us a perfect circle. Instead, I am going to pull down and create a long oval. So what I wanna do is I want to create a banner that's just this bottom piece right here. So now I'm gonna come over to my rectangle tool, which is above my ellipse tool, and I'm going to uh, just draw a rectangle and try to get it to hit. Do you see those two anchor points right in the middle? I'm going to hit it right there. It's about the halfway point, okay? Now what we're gonna do is take our selection tool, select on both of these, and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and change them both to black. So come over here to your fill and stroke. And the easiest way to get this to be black, your fill to be black, is just to come up to this little arrow and you can see that it says swap fill and stroke. So I'm gonna do that by clicking on that arrow and you can see that now I have a black oval and a black rectangle. But I do also actually have this white stroke and I don't really want that. So I'm gonna click on it and it will bring it to the front and if I go below, you can see this little red line through a square, that's called the none. And that makes it so that there is not a stroke on it. So I'm just gonna click on it. And now I just have a fill of black. Okay, pretty simple. Now, the reason I made my circle first or my oval first, and then my rectangle is because whatever's on top in the next process, gets rid of the stuff underneath, okay? So go to Window and hit Pathfinder and you'll get a window like this. What we wanna do is use this rectangle to basically cut in half the oval. So let's go over to Trim, which is down at the bottom, it's the second one over, and click on that trim. And you can see, you can no longer see something going on behind this rectangle. It's because it's been cut off. So go to Object, Ungroup, and now if I pull away that rectangle, I will just get this bottom piece. So you can go ahead and delete this even. I'm just going to hit my Delete key, get rid of that rectangle. We don't need it. Now this oval, depending on how you want your banner to look, you can pull it, make it a little bit deeper if you want. You could make it thinner, pull it in. So this is up to you, okay? So from here, what I really want to do is put two holes in it for my banner. So I'm going to come over to my rectangle tool once again, grab my ellipse tool. I'm going to hold down my shift key this time because I want a perfect circle. And you can see that I have a black circle here. It's going to be hard to see because right down here you can see the fill is black. So what I want to do is turn it white. So double click on that fill and just move your little... Um, picker right up into the corner or you can change your hex number to F F F F F F so six F F's and then push OK and now we've got a little circle I'm just gonna use my selection tool to select off of it so I can take a peek at it alright there it is now if I select on it again let's copy and paste it so go to edit copy edit paste and I'm gonna move it over here to the other side. 
Now we've made a banner, but things are probably not lined up. So what I'm going to do is select everything, hold down my shift key, and just select the banner. Now what that did was make it so that the only two things I'm selected on are these two dots, which is what I wanted because I want to line them up perfectly. So go to Window, Align, and now I should get my Align window, and you can align them to the top or to the bottom, it doesn't really matter, just so that they're lined up. Mine didn't move a lot because they were really pretty close. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is group them. So go to Object and Group. Now what this is gonna do is make it so that when I select all of this again and I line it up, these two dots will remain as a single group. So what it'll do is center those two dots on the, um, the banner background. So I've selected everything with my selection tool and now when I go back to my align, I'm going to horizontally align it to the center. And you saw mine slightly shift. Now it should be perfectly aligned, like this space from here to here and here to here should be equal as well as the center fold of this. So it'll be a really beautiful banner. And that's it, you guys. So if you're using this in an illustration, you can leave it as is. If you're going to color it, you can change the stroke. You can change the color on this. If you wanted your little holes to be out all the way, and you can do that, you can grab this entire thing. Let's go ahead and copy and paste it. So edit, copy, edit, paste. And what you can do is use your Pathfinder window, which you can go to Window, and Pathfinder, and you can take those, you can see I've got my window up here, and trim it. So if you trim it, what it's gonna do is take those two little white dots and basically trim them through your banner. So if I hold down my Shift key and click, oh, it looks like it grouped together. Select everything, do an object, ungroup, there it is. All right, so now if I grabbed this banner from the back and pulled it, it would be just a single piece. If I select over here, you can see there's actually two little white circles that I'm just gonna wanna delete. So I'm just gonna delete those. So this one is its own shape now, all set. This one still has your little dots in it, okay? So um, I hope you enjoyed this Illustrator lesson. Um, come back, learn more Illustrator, learn to be a designer. It's a really great way to get paid for being creative and knowing the tools is the key. All right, I will see you guys later.